y'all know y'all think plants think. <laughs> Women think plants feel. Oh, you, you, you are news. Most women say they be plants that have no baby. <laughs> and then what the question eggshells. Why are you putting eggs in there? Well, plants like eggs. Plants like eggs? <laughs> what is a plant? Yeah, really? <laughs> you like eggs. <laughs> so you assume that the plant likes eggs. Well, it makes it grow healthier. Do you ever think it's trying to get out of the base? <laughs> it's trying to get away from you and your baby. In the, in, the, in the world of right now, you tend to be trained to think like that. Job says he got unfair treatment, that he was singled out to suffer for nothing. And everything was taken from him. His wife, his children, his land. And that wasn't enough. They put boils all over his body for absolutely nothing. Just because God and the devil made a bet. God is a gambling man in here. <laughs> the devil told Teddy God, I know one. You know, Joe, if you take away your protection from him and your blessings, I bet you he'll deny you. Right? Then he does it. You got it. Come on, you got it. I'm telling you, God is betting. Read the book of Job. He is actually making a bet on Job's life. Tell me where that's fear. Tell me how that's fear. And then God said, well, after it's all over, and God won the bet, and he fold the roll and put it back in his roll. I assume he the roll. I know Miss God makes him something. Yeah. He puts his money back in his pocket. And then he looks back at Job and says, I'm going to fix you up. So he gives Job another wife, some new flocks, some new children. I don't want another wife. I want the wife I was loving before you and the devil made a bet with my life. I don't want a new wife. I'm happy with my wife. Could I have my wife that you God just don't put in the shit. Yeah. Couldn't God reverse it? Couldn't he have just said let's go back and remove it and it gets between him and the devil and said, you can't get Joe now. Close the book of Joe. Let's move on. Yeah. Couldn't he do that? Yeah. Didn't he do that? No. Why not? That's the same why not that we always ask. Because we are alone in our sorrows. And the sooner you realize the helping hand you're looking for is at the end of your arm, the better off you're going to be as men and women. The moment you make up your mind, them doggone crazy eyes made Egypt a place we all would love to visit but can't go because of Islamic fundamentalism and fanaticism attacking people so damn it if Muhammad didn't go to the mountain the mountain would have came to Muhammad I said I was going to take all y'all back to Egypt with me I can't because the Arabs are messing everything up so how I'm bringing Egypt here for you and that in itself is nothing but an example of what every one of us can do we all can change the condition of things, but it's an individual thing. Each one of you has to make up your mind to not believe anything. You follow that? And when they tell you to believe it, say, I don't want to offend you. I just don't believe it unless you can prove it to me. These don't get mad at me. I'm maybe stupid. <laughs> I may be naive, it may be my fault, but I just don't believe it. I want to know, because that belief system is what made us hate each other. That belief system is responsible for war and death. You understand? And I don't want it no more. And I don't want the sons and daughters of God to want it. And I get confused in here about who they are. <laughs> this book here is real confusion. I just read, I Boy, I keep reading, I keep showing you more and more and more confusion. Yeah. That Adam and Eve story, it goes on. Yeah. Excuse me. 
Stay on your head. You want me to go some more with it? Yeah. Let's look at this thing while we're here. Y'all mind your little time, dude. What's that there? Back to six again. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, why? Why did God make it good for food? That it's something that they shouldn't want. Uh, okay? And that it was pleasant to the sight. Why did God make it so beautiful? Are you going to say, because God, I'll let you say, because God was just a baby. <laughs> and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit. Desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband, which were with, with her. And he did eat. Why? Why did God make a tree forbidden for human beings? Not endow them with enough intelligence to know better. Instead of being after them, that is the most cunning person on, or being on the planet, and then make the tree good for food. Not just chicken, but good chicken. <laughs> Not just good chicken, but chicken that looks good. And chicken that I can learn how to cook. <laughs> May all make me wise. Why would he do that? You say because God was testing us. And I say, why does God have to test people when he can just go, boom, here it is, boom, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the way they say it? We say, how many people say, kun fire kun? Yeah. Allah says, good thing, kun fire kun, in existence, and in be, or how you say, be it shall be. That's all, boom. But, you, but yet women have babies in nine months. No, I ain't no boom. When you women prefer to just go, damn, it's a little boom. Not maybe not that fast with the jiggity jiggity, but that fast with the boom. I know some of y'all like them jiggity jiggity guys. And you give a light words to Joe. They were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together. Needles? <laughs> thread? What kind of thread? Have any of y'all seen fig leaves? Go look at fig leaves. You can't sew fig leaves together. This is just some stuff that's big with somebody who's going to go, okay. <laughs> okay. You never can go, fig leaves. Go to your computer, be on the page. This is our world. This is a This is a spiritual soul. <laughs> 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 do that. How do they do to your mind? It's like they ate the fruit and then they're like there. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Oops. And it covered up. <laughs> Hello? Angels come from heaven with clothes. The serpent in the tree was talking to them had on clothes. <coughs> Who made the clothes? <laughs> what are the clothes made of? Are they cotton robes? Or the angels get the best and get silk robes? Does something have a pattern? An angel because your grandma said, I saw him standing at the end of my bed. And he had a long white flowing robe. He had his hands stepped out saying, Come on. <laughs> and I said, Grandma, who made the road for the angel? They have sewing machines in heaven, Grandma? Or they have seamstress in heaven? Then my mind goes, <laughs> <laughs> I get a blast back of that switch. <laughs> but it stayed in my mind as a young man to question it. 
why I was given that curse or gift to this day, I don't know. But I do know that if I can get it into you, and you go back out in the world, you will set the record straight. Right. Oh, a lot of your grandmothers thought they were going to heaven when they died and spent the best part in the last days of their life calling that money out there to stop it. They have a little stocking with them. Remember that? You go down the purse and take out a stocking, run down that stocking, pour it inside there. That slimy ass reverend who really is safe in the garden takes my grandmother's money. Have my mother and grandmother jumping up and down in church, hanging on a tambourine, and she must bring herself. You understand? They give you three Bibles, though, and so does Howard Johnson, and Holiday Inn, and every other hotel, and Hyatt. Right? And Grandma gets a pop in the tambourine while the Reverend gets a crumble, and the deacons are asleep, and these big old fat colored me girls will cry going to the
there is an original a classical language that has been broken down into a colloquial language and becomes a dialect. And you're saying that in Acts 3, the Holy Ghost comes on the day of Pentecost and as a light of fire. God is using fire. You said to me that fire is the tool of the devil. And that tranquility and bliss and peace is the tool of God. But in the day of Pentecost, and peace is the tool of God. But in the day of Pentecost, while a deceptive, deceiving, punk ass, shifty ass disciple who ran their ass off when Jesus had a problem, after saying over and over again, Lord, we with you, Lord, we with you, when it came to God in the temple of St. John said, them niggas ran. How you gonna desert God? Can I walk with you there? Let's go with this. A man's head is cut off in the midst of everybody. And Jesus, the real Jesus, when you people are sitting there who think I don't recognize the real Jesus, they got the wrong story. The real Jesus reached down and picked the man's head up and put it back on in front of everybody. What kind of person would not believe that? If you were standing there, if you was a Muslim, a Jew, a Hindu, a Buddhist, or a Saint or whatever, and you were standing there, and someone chopped somebody's head off in front of you, and the man that you heard was God and Ali, and Avatar, and it was a Jessica, a portion of God in the flesh, he reached down and takes the man's head up and puts it back on, and there's no bleeding and no stitches. Would you believe that? Yes, you You tell me what soldier, centurion, or Jew that was standing in that garden at night when that happened, they wouldn't believe. And you tell me who wrote the story of them taking them away. Because if I was a soldier sent to get you, and this man is Jesus, and he put your hair back on, ain't no way in the world I'm taking him into custody. Anybody who sent me got a problem. That's when you become a warrior for God. Yeah. That's when you stand for God. Yeah. You see, I'm going to defend you. You want to learn like the disciples did. Yeah. Not, not even that is enough. Yeah. When they came and asked for Jesus, they said, which one of y'all are Jesus? He said, I am Jesus. And they fell yeah. on the ground, it says in the Bible. Yeah. They all turned around and fell to the ground. Now these men came out to get Jesus. They were policemen. And the FBI was there because the Pharisees were there. Yeah. And they just happened to say he didn't the cops. They were the FBI with him. And the Jews were there. And they came to get the men. And Jesus was standing there because he didn't want any of his mortal brothers or children to be hurt. So he came out front. He himself came out. No, Jesus didn't send his son out. He didn't send it only if he got the son because he loved him so much. He loved his disciples so much but that when they came to kill him and they didn't know which one was him because they said, you got to kiss him so we'll know him. Betray right. him with a kiss. But then if Jesus didn't wait for that, he Here I am. I'm Jesus. And read your Bible and tell them if they turned around and fell on the ground. They didn't have no flashlights on. They had lanterns. When they fell, the lanterns went off. But Jesus, out of the love of his disciples, a second time in the darkness to make it clear that they don't grab the wrong person and say, I. And he fell on the ground again. <laughs> the real Jesus had power. This plastic ass punk y'all talking about. I don't know who he is. That ain't the real Jesus. That ain't the real avatar come to earth. Avatars come to earth. Jesus 
is not unique. Krishna was an avatar that came to earth. There's an avatar living in India right now called Sacha Sai Baba, an incarnation of Chanaki Sai Baba. You're looking at an incarnation, an avatar. We've come to earth to right the wrong, to set the record straight. Every cycle you come to earth, you either accept us or reject us. But we will do the abnormal for you. And you have read this book your whole life. Your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, and multiple denominations of preachers and teachers, and none of them can show you what I am. And I ain't changed the word. I'm revealing the word that you can see that it's crap. Why? Because a new year is coming. A new cycle is coming in. A spiritual 